Straight away, I start by asking ChatGPT this. Since I have used technical analysis personally while trading, I ask it the top 3 technical trading strategies. It suggests a few common but effective strategies. Note that it is not necessary that you have to just pick one. You can combine all three to create trading signals. And in coming videos, I'll do just that. Finally, I ask it to create the bot using moving average crossover and using Alpaca API to buy and sell stocks. Instead of directly giving me the code for the bot, it gave out the steps to make the bot. So I just asked it to write the code for the steps it provided. Code GPT obliged and gave out the code. So the first thing here is that we will need the API key from Alpaca. I'll create an account and get it soon. Let's see the core business logic of this code. It seems to be calculating moving averages every one minute. And simply, if the short period moving average is greater than the long period moving average, it's creating a buy order. And if the short period moving average is less than the long period moving average, it's placing a sell order. It seems pretty simple. There should not be any issues with this. So now let's create the project in VS Code. I noticed that there are some missing dependencies, so I go back to ChatGPT and asked it to create a requirements file for the project. It gave out the contents of the file and I just create a requirement file and install the requirements in a virtual environment using pip. Then I go to Alpaca to get the API keys and the secret. Now that the dependencies are installed and I've put the Alpaca secret and API key in place, I'm ready to run the code. One last thing before I run this is I comment the function call that actually places buy slash sell order and put a print message so that I can see what the code is doing first. Upon the first run, I get a forbidden error. Since I got the secret and API key just a while back from Alpaca, I'm assuming that the credentials are not an issue. When using ChatGPT to code, I faced issues due to the libraries being deprecated, so I've decided to use the latest version of Alpaca Trade API. I switch back to ChatGPT and ask about the latest Alpaca Trade API version, and as expected, it did not know as its knowledge is capped at 2021. So to install the latest version, I just remove the old version number from the requirement file, uninstall the currently installed version of Alpaca Trade API and install it again. If you are installing a package using pip without mentioning a specific version number, pip will install the latest version available. After the latest version of package installed, I run the code again and get this error. I again copy and paste this error in chat GPT and it says I need to update the Alpaca Trade API version. But since it's already the latest version, I'm assuming there has been some changes in the package since 2021 that chat GPT is unaware of, so I switch to Bing. Bing suggests to use the new getBars function which ChatGPT could not do because it was probably released after 2021. So I do that and run it again. And again I got the old error. It turns out I had put the wrong secret key. In hindsight, I should have started by checking this. But anyway, I have made the code better by using the latest package. I run it again and this time using the correct secret key. But again, I get an error. The process of copy pasting the error and trying out solutions from Bing continued for a few hours until I finally until I finally decided to read the documentation. I changed a few things as documentation suggested. Some things were not commonly discussed in forums and were hard to find. Turns out, if something is hard to find for you, these AI chatbots will also not tell you about it. Anyway, I finally made it to work and it was not even a line that needed to be changed. Bottom line, ChatGPT gave a good step-by-step -step description on how to create the bot. Also, laid out a nice initial flow of the algorithm that I followed to the end. But ultimately, it failed when we use the new package. Bing's chat is much more up to date and provided latest solutions. But those three words that made it all work had to be derived from Alpaca's documentation itself.
So conclude what you will from this video and if you think this provided some value, please like, share and subscribe to help me out. Cheers.